girl behind the counter, me and one other guy. There's a guy in front of me in line. There are three of us in the place. The girl behind the counter, the guy and me. He gets to the counter. She says to him, can I tell you? And he didn't understand. Who would? You know, I know people from Lebanon who speak better than this woman. <laughs> so she repeats herself, can I tell you? And he doesn't understand. He's the nicest guy in the world. I don't understand. She gets mad. Can I help you? And he orders his smoothie. He's a very gracious Asian man. And at the end she says, give me your name. I'll write it on the cup so I know who you are. There are two of us in the store. <laughs> and he said, my name is Chin. What? Chin. I'll spell it for you. T-C-H-I-E-N. Go stand over there and I'll call your name. Now it's my turn. And I'm still livid over the inseam incident. <laughs> so she gives me the same thing. Hey, hell yeah. I said, eh. <laughs> but she one ups me. What for you? Ah! Ah! Now I have to think on my own, right? I have to, in the moment, I have to, be, I have to create a chocolate chocolate. I didn't know what to do. She gives me the same thing. Give me your name. I'll write it on the cup so I know who you are. So I said, my name is Jean. And she looked at me the way, you know, when the kids hold a, a cookie for the dog. I said, I'll spell it for you, T-C-H-I-E-N, Chin. She throws down her Sharpie, are you Asian? Yes, I am. I'm going to go stand with my brother right now. <laughs>